say now we're discussing waves, and let's say we're talking about a wave that has a frequency of 50 hertz. How can we interpret that? Well, hertz does not look like a ratio unit, um, but it turns out that hertz really stands for cycles per second. Or maybe it might be more useful to think of this as waves per second. So this is cycles per second or waves per second, whichever way it makes more sense to you. So now let's try to interpret what this is telling us about this wave. Well, it means that in one second, the wave goes through 50 cycles. Uh, even if you haven't really studied waves very much yet, I hope that you um, basically understand the idea that a wave is something that oscillates. Maybe a wave is something that's oscillating up and down. And every time it goes through a complete cycle of oscillation, well, that would be one cycle. Well, some waves oscillate very quickly, and some waves oscillate very slowly. Well, this seems to be a wave that's oscillating quite quickly. If the wave was being generated by your hand, like the waves that I just showed you, this would be a heck of a high frequency, um, because this would say that my hand is going through 50 cycles in just one second. Obviously, that's a lot faster than I can actually move my hand in. Um, again, maybe it's more intuitive to think of this as just waves. This is a wave that goes through 50 wave cycles in one second. I hope that makes some sense to you. Uh, but maybe if you haven't started studying waves yet in physics, maybe this is a concept that might be still a little bit hard for you to grasp. So let's say we have a wave um, that's at 70 hertz. What does it mean if the wave is at 70 hertz? Well, we just learned that hertz is cycles per second. So that means that in one second, the wave goes through 70 cycles, or that in one second, 70 waves are accomplished. Red light has a wavelength of 700 nanometers per cycle. The wavelength of red visible light is 700 nanometers per cycle. But what does that actually tell us about red light? Well, let's combine these into a single ratio. It means that if you were going to draw out one cycle of the wave, that one cycle would only cover a length of 700 nanometers. Of course, a nanometer is just one billionth of a meter. Um, so one cycle of red light covers only the very short distance of 700 nanometers. Uh, that's actually a long distance for uh, light, um, but uh, relative to our, uh, our normal scheme of things, that's a pretty short distance. Remember that maybe it's better to think of cycles as waves. So this is saying that um, one wave of red light um, covers a distance of 700 nanometers. So if you were going to draw the wave, this is how you could draw a complete cycle, from crest to trough and back to crest again. And we're saying that in one complete cycle, the distance from one crest to another crest is 700 nanometers. Actually, a lot of the time when people talk about wavelengths, they leave out the cycles. They might just say that the wavelength of the light is 700 nanometers. But I think that you get a lot more insight if you think of the units as a ratio unit and think of it as nanometers per cycle rather than just nanometers.